Fears to Fathom is an episodic psychological horror game where each episode unveils a short story narrated by the ones who survived. You are playing an episode 4. Fifth episode is coming soon. Two hours? We got this. New game. You guys excited for this? Hey, I noticed you were requesting story submissions while I was watching YouTube play Fears to Fathom Carson House. What I'm about to recount happened when I was 24 or so at a time. I feel kind of weird telling anyone about this because of the bizarre and absurd nature of the whole thing. But I feel like going to... G like doing so might help me process my memories of it. I knew that sharing this story anywhere else would be a dumb idea because people would say I was lying. As I'm writing this, this was the scariest experience of my life. I'm Jack Nelson. Had a small job as a park ranger in the state park. I was a fire lookout stationed in the one of the largest forests in the Pacific Northwest. Hi Jess. Miles and miles of dense forest managed by forestry services. I had a salary that allowed me to make ends meet. But I couldn't afford to treat myself to restaurants, nice clothes, etc. My biggest accomplishment so far was being able to buy an RV for myself with a lot of financial help from my dad. That's a nice one though, isn't it? That RV was the only sense of home I had at the time. This one time I was transferred from one outpost to another because of some official circumstances. It was a minor inconvenience to me though, since I lived out of my RV and I like traveling. I said a few goodbyes, and I was off to the new location. It was about a two hour drive. Oh my god. This is great. Can I stop? Wait. I just wanna examine my RV. Messages? This new regional manager says to joke, honestly, sometimes I wish I had a job like you. Waking up with nature away from people and just getting paid to watch the, the wind go by. I wish my job was really that easy, Kay. Kayla Nelson. I'm honestly done with this job. Pretty sure joining you next season. Hehe. <laughs> like I said, you're always welcome here. Let me know if you need me to talk to Josh. Time for a change. Speaking of change. Jack Nelson, Iron Bank Department, Fire Lookout, State of Washington. Iron Bank? They're staffing me to Iron... Iron Bark, sorry. Iron Bark next month. The one after Roseburg? Yeah, how they got bigger staff, cabins and less campers. Call me. With Dad, I'll call you back. How's it looking? Still on my way? Van decided to pull a flat tire on me. Isn't it late? If you don't starve to death before arriving, I'll be fine. Jesus. Okay. Just reaching you to tell you that you've been assigned Tower 11. Welcome on board. This is Mitch, by the way, from Ironbark. Thank you. Heard a lot about you from Josh. Very excited to meet you soon. Just got my ID today. Your shift starts at on 12. Shit, we played that on stream with the saxophone. This is great. Here we go. Here we go. This is so cozy. Oh. Don't text and drive, okay? Here we go. I lived a very solitary life. It helps quiet my mind, keeps the memories at bay. Twenty-five miles per hour speed. There's no way. We we rolling, baby. We rolling, baby. Sheesh. Da, 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 da
Hi friends, we're going on a RV adventure. Let me check real quick. I saw the the diner Kayla was talking about. She's talking about. I remember there's a diner while passing Rosberg. I have the best burgers in town. You have to try them. I won't say no to a fantastic burger, right? Oh, you can actually go in here. God damn, this is loud. Shut up. Welcome to Train Reaver Diner. How are you doing today? I don't know why I decided she, she sounds like this. Um, not too bad, not too bad. Feel free to take any seat you like. And I'll be right there with you. Alright, thank you. Good evening. I'm Barbara. Are you ready to order? Yes. Yes, sir. So what can I get for you today? I guess should I? What can I get for you today? Cheeseburger with... um. We heard about this cheeseburger. Best burger in town. Ah, uh, burger is the best in the West. God damn it. You like anything to drink? Coffee. Just a strawberry slush, large Coke. Coffee. Perfect. Anything else? That'll be all. Thank you. Great. I'll bring the food out just as soon as it's done. Just let me know if you need anything else. Sounds good. Appreciate it. I've always had this habit of peeing before eating. I guess the game is telling me something, right? <laughs> oh my god! We can direct it! Whoa! <laughs> I can't control myself! Just... Sheesh! See? Wash your hands, you filthy animals. Let's get that burger. The hell is my burger? Barbara? Where the hell is my burger, Barbara? What? She just... <laughs> Thank you very much. Eating those fries. Why do, why do you consuming my iron bark coffee? Or Ros Rosberg coffee, I guess. Told you. This food reminds me. You should send me that casserole recipe you're talking about. I might get a chance to immerse myself in the art of cuisine in the new lookout. Here's the check. Your total is six dollars and sixty cents. Um. What's the customary tip, guys? It's like 15% tip, right? But this is... Uh, we're in Europe. There's no tips. Let's give it 15% tip, right? We don't have tips here. But we have something called labor laws. Right? You must pay a living wage. Imagine that. I want to include location of this park. But I don't want anyone seeking out the utter horrors I've seen in these woods. Oh, it's like recounting the story, right? Is this the place? Okay. I got my shit right here. You got my bag? Ha! 
Hallo? Genau! Jesus Christ! <lacht> Top of the morning to you! Jesus! Holy moly! You scared me! I thought you were one of them! You scared me, you son of a bitch! Hey, Lord, have mercy! Goddamn, shoo! <laughs> anyway, can you see your permit, please? You're Billy, right? I'm the new transfer for fire lookout. Is that correct? Oh, what is that in the background? Did you guys see that? There was a person back there. I didn't know we were hiring this season. Hang on, let me check on that. Jesus Christ. This guy scared the shit out of me. Okay, pal, you're good to go. You're staffed at Fire Tower 11. I apologize for the confusion. I was under the impression that the tower would be left on staff for the season. But here, there are your keys. Take the keys. Let me open the trail gate for you. This fucking son of a bitch. Excuse me. Did you guys see that? He's a ghost. He's not real. He's a fucking ghost. He just went right through the door. Right in the peepee. -pee. Since you're arriving this late, you might also need this flashlight for the long hype you look at. Thought I might need one. You be careful, take this. Alright. Welcome to Iron Bark, pal. Now for purposes, when you get your tower, be sure to mark your first weather report from your system, just so we know you clocked in safely. If need be, you can reach out to Tower 12 during your staffing. Nice enough guy. He'll be your closest contact in case of any emergency. Thank you, Billy. You have a good day, son of a bitch. Hey, just a piece of advice. Don't travel any further than half a mile or so north of your tower. Why? Dangerous woods are made by Paul. Dangerous woods that way, Paul? Bobcats and bears. Nasty business. Okay, you got it. Is the volume okay, by the way, guys? Eleven thirty-two p.m. It's late as fuck. Tower eleven. One five five nine two five zero zero. Lacy Trail, so I guess we we can't go that way. Oh, here's the tower. Living in a fire tower is not a gra glamorous job. Imagine being out here alone for weeks at a time. It's not for everyone. I would, I think I would enjoy it.
I guess if he was with Scepter, he was not alone, but... But, in the grand scheme of things, I prefer... I prefer this than uh, people. Now look at this. Utility shack. Oh, we know what this is for. Don't we? We know what this is for. Let's open, let's open it up nicely. It is a nice view though, look at this. Is there anyone out there? I guess that's the other tower? Alright. Let me toss my shit out there. How do I... As a generator? Yeah, I saw a generator downstairs. So maybe we need to... Turn on the generator? Okay. Fantastic. Okay. Let's put this uh, here. Let's uh, turn on the computer, I guess. Rainbow 98, professional. Shit. Radio equipment was sitting on, on a wooden table. Okay. What is this? Bear spray. Is this bear spray? Osborne Firefinder is like a giant compass the size of a pizza. We use it to spot the fire on the map. Okay. Okay, and what is this? Ironbark Fire Department. All lookouts must follow these rules while occupying this tower. Lights out after 12 p.m. Supply drops are handled every Sunday. Absolutely no guests in the lookout. Oh. This is... No, it would be fun with a guest. System password is Ironbark Tower Number. Okay. Refuel the generator routinely. Update the reporting software routinely. No video games in the system. Excuse me! How are we supposed to be gaming here? Remember to call your sister radio station before you sleep. Okay. I don't see the smoke. Did you light it up yet? The wood stove should be around the entrance. Get her lit. Alright. There's no firewood. Marley? Who the fuck is Marley? Oh, okay. She was one gritty woman. Right. Anyways, you better get that fire going. You don't want to sit through the storm. Gasoline must be in your cabin. But if not, you can always grab your supplies from the storage shack. Okay. 
Let's get some firewood. This is exactly how I would do this as well. Just running down the stairs. <laughs> Just running down the stairs. Alright. Coming back. Which one is the 12th tower? It's not that one, is it? Or is it? Maybe it's that one? Yeah. Is there another one? No. It's that guy. Sup, dude? <laughs> Bet he can see me. Right. Need gasoline? Oh, that's how you do it over here? Okay. I can leave my zipper alone. Better Jesus. No. Better get to it then. Here at Iron Bark, you are required to report every night before signing off. Right. You don't want to disappoint Mitch on your first night. Fuck Mitch. Sorry, guys. Um. Uh, this is the wind. Speed, right? Eighteen? Right. Eighteen? What is that? Forty-four point nine. Weather conditions? What's my name again? What's what's my name again, guys? I forgot my name. It's um Oh wait, I have I have an idea here. Jack Nelson. Nelson. At all. Weather conditions. Jack Nelson. I don't know what the weather conditions are. <laughs> Is there a way for us to know? Oh, this is like a compass? Uh, it seems clear, right? You copy, new guy? Right here. Dave? I think it's your name, right? It's Jack Nelson, actually. No. Uh, I think I'm gonna sign off for the day. Right? Signing off. You have a good night, new guy. Have Don't a good one. Don't let the bed bugs bite? Excuse me. Good night, Connor. I'll see you tomorrow, buddy.
get my name right. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> Nelson at all. Yeah, I can actually put whatever I want. Yeah, and it's just me and my Nelson and uh and chat actually. <laughs> Fucking hell. Okay. Welcome to Ironbark State. Oh my Park. god. If you're watching this video, then let me be the first to say congratulations. Holy crap. You have been commissioned by the Ironbark Fire Department. This looks like a Dave video. Prestigious parks in the state of Washington. Established in 1897, we've been known as one of the safest parks in America. We Are we now? We can keep it that way for many years to come. Right. This training video will ensure that you work to the best of your abilities. You've been selected as one of our fire lookout observers. This is a truly rewarding job which requires many hours of hard work. Is it now? You will be working in our state as a list of responsibilities you will have. Keep watch for fire. Fire isn't going to be noticeable all of the time. No? So also keep watch for smoke. Make right. sure to know what color the smoke is. It may be crucial information. Fires are best stopped before they spread out of hand. <laughs> keep records of daily Wait, temperature. Wait, what? Wait. Make sure to know what color the smoke is. It may be crucial information. Fires are <laughs> I'm gonna drink and drive. Stop fires before they get too wild. Yeah, that's uh this is a wild fire, guys. Stopped before they spread out of hand. Keep records of daily temperature. When the temperature rises, it is best that we have those recorded. Right. The science nerds at the Panoramic Preservation Society. Not the science nerds. Oh my god. Society requires to know so called scientists? The Panoramic Preservation Society requires to note all changes? Yeah. Note Imagine changes in supplying data. We think it's best not to get into a lawsuit. <laughs> That's the only fucking reason you do it? Come on. Keep records of daily wind speed. Wind is a big factor when it comes to fire. Use right. the anemometer to scientifically gather the data. What do you mean scientifically? <laughs> it is exactly what it does. After collecting the data, input it into our state-of-the-art service reporting form. This is a highly complicated form, often used by NASA employees. So don't be too <laughs> Not ashamed NASA. if you can't figure it out at first. You have the privilege of using such a form. Keep campers out of unregistered campgrounds. Right. The campers might start a campfire which could lead to a wildfire. They will not always listen to authority, so take precaution when escorting them. Okay. Make sure to note whether the person is a threat. If you're worried about your safety, do not hesitate to dial 911. Okay. Keep maintenance of the park. Make sure the park is kept clean. We have a status to uphold. Now that you know most of the duties that a fire lookout has, you're ready to start. <laughs> Mostly. <laughs> we hope that you have a great season out there on the tower. Try not to damage any of the Wait, what what's wrong with this tower? This tower looks fucked up. Guys, I don't trust this this architecture here. L look at this. <laughs> Call this the state that tower. Uh, look. It looks like the you know, the foundations are kind of not the phone, like the actual tower infrastructure looks kind of <laughs> fucked. And remember, if you see smoke, don't joke. Call the authorities and notify them of the predicament immediately. <laughs> this is great. I got an achieve for watching that. Wait, there's a flash drive here? Cats? What the fuck is this? This kind of slaps, guys.
This is like a video clip, kind of a. <laughs> okay, that was uh, interesting. Let's see what else we have in this flash drive. Hi everyone, I'm Ron Ross, and I'm here to. Not Ron Ross. Today I got some cool paint. This is something called testicular green. Excuse me. It reminds me of my wife. I love my wife. Anyways, a little <laughs> water there. Time testicular to green. Brushes. Oops, that's the wrong brush. That's my. I'll save that for later. Ah, there it is. The basting brush. I think I'll put a little tree here. This is where I buried the bodies. You know what would look good here? Nice, <laughs> what? Happy cabin. Right there. Reminds me of when I had an affair with my wife. Uh, with a squirrel. Enough about me. Let's read some fan mail. Sent in by you guys. Eviction notice. <laughs> Forget the fan mail. We'll be right back after this commercial break. What the fuck is this? Oh, is this like a, a game? Wait, let's see the plan. And we are back. So how do you feel about being a plant? Do you moisturize? <laughs> you moisturize? What do you do for a living? Uh-huh. Yeah. How does that work? Wow. This is great. Great content, guys. Everyone's been wondering, how's the marriage with the wife? Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Sir. Sir, there's no need for that language. Sir, calm down. <laughs> what did you just say? Nobody talks to me like that on my show. What the f did you just say? Get that over here, you piece of sh Okay. Don't worry about it. Um... Oh shit. Oh shit. A few moments later. I got a I got an achieve. I got an achieve, guys. Okay, you can kill me. You can kill me. Um, that was interesting. I always close the board outside before going to sleep. Right. Okay, I'm back. Okay. Let's see. 3.26 a.m. What is going on? It's 3 a.m. Son of a bitch. Connor, I had to pee. My first night being out of my cabin gave me a strange feeling. Where's the tower usually? What's tower? Where's tower 12? Is 
It's right there. These lights out. Sp Wait. <laughs> La 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 now, this is what I'm talking about. Just you and the wind. And time melts away. This is what I'm talking about, guys. Right. What do you want, Connor? Tower 11. Do you copy? Copy that, Connor. What's up? Son of a bitch. Excuse me. Nobody bothers to get a camping permit these days anymore. Do you have eyes on the smoke north of your position? Let me have a look. I do. You spot that white smoke up north? Yeah, I see it. It's in the lazy trail sector, which is not a registered campsite. People like that don't bother to clean up after themselves. Some just animals. It's just animals. Fire risks are high this season. Mind checking it out? Okay, heading north. Wait. Is it safe? Okay, heading north. I'll report back on it. Any other details? No additional information at the moment. Just follow Lazy Trail. Keep an eye out for it. Stay safe out there. Don't forget to carry your bear spray in these woods, new guy. Over and out. Alright. What do we take? Um... My hands were full. I'll just take this then. Okay, here I go. Watch out, bears! I think Lacey Trail was over here, right? Lacey Trail was just over here. Yeah. Caution, bears in area. <laughs> Are bears starting fires? I should have brought the um, a flashlight. What the hell is going on? No camping.
the fuck is going on over here? Hello? The fuck was that? I don't think I can. Can I? No. I have bear spray, I'm not afraid to use it. What? Wait. What is this? Step out here, son of a bitch. Show yourself. The area beyond that side was closed. the hell? Okay, I guess we go back. Anyway, I need to put the campfire out before heading back to the tower. Right. Of course I did. I do like the vibes of this though. <laughs> Dude, I was ready for bears. Don't you dare. As I hiked back to my tower to the dark, I couldn't shake the sense that something was terribly wrong. My mind couldn't help but to think that what might have happened. Yeah. I spray first, ask questions later. 100%. I can hear that. Oh no. Uh, Tower 12, do you copy? Hey, Connors, do you copy, son of a bitch? Loud and clear, new guy. I was just cooking myself some hot... Well, first, what's your status? Are you kidding me? No, I'm not. Son of a bitch. They never learn, do they? They d never do, yes. There's a guy also whistling uh, uh, in, the, in the woods. Who are you talking about? I'm sick of these bastards. It's unbelievable. This is the third time this month alone. Anything right. else you notice in those woods? Mention scream? A scream. Must have been one of those red foxes. They sound pretty much like a screaming lady at night. They do. They do. You know, in Portugal, there, there's even, like, legends about witches that live in the woods in certain parts. And it's just, uh... Because foxes, foxes scream at night. I don't know what you're talking about, new guy, but I heard from the rangers that a 
Kids went missing in, the, in that area? About a month ago. They were hiking with their families. They went off the trail and just vanished. No trace of them since. What does that have to do with what happened to those I kids? Don't know. Their parents said some whistle led them off the trail. It's unbelievable. Guys, some whistle? People started spreading rumors that the area might be haunted by some entities. Right. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Here we go, guys. Sometimes I only wish they were true. Well, at least now you know why Mitch had to staff Tower 11 urgently. Well, glad to be of service. Right. Anyways, thanks for sticking to contact the authorities so they can take care of this commotion first thing in the morning. We can't tolerate these goons anymore. If they find them, I'll personally make sure they never set foot in this forest again. Keep me updated. Over and out. Over and out. Um, actually, let's um, let's do the weather report things, right? Oh, Kyla. Shit. Look at what what I got home to. Casserole recipe. Pizza pasta bake ingredients. Uncooked pasta, marinara sauce, pepperoni, mozzarella cheese, diced tomatoes. Place all the ingredients in casserole. The fuck? Just <laughs> just toss it in there. Bake it twen for 20 degrees. Bake for 35 to 40 minutes. Enjoy. Looking at the photo makes my stomach grow. Shit. Eighteen knots. Kind of cloudy, isn't it? Okay. Let me. First things first. Eighteen knots. Forty six point two. Um. Eighteen. Kind of cloudy. Uh, Dave. No. Zero. Dave at all. Something didn't look right. Is it still clear? Wind? No. Clouds? Wait, what was the temperature again? 46.2, not 56. 46. It's cloudy. Okay. David all. David all submitted it. Okay. Thank you. We need some um some firewood, right? There's someone walking here. What the f hell is going on?
There's a dude just whistling and, and walking near my cabin. Near my utility shack. So it's just unsettling, right? Still set fire to the cabin. There we go. Fantastic. I can't see anyone from here. But I know there was someone whistling and doing stuff there. I was starving. I had to get all the ingredients Kelly recipe asked for. casserole Sapser is here to, to supervise the casserole making as well what is it that we need again? let me check uncooked pasta, marinara sauce pepperoni mozzarella cheese and diced tomatoes Pepperoni. Um, this is not it. Mozzarella di bufala. Oh, this looks like uh, the mozzarella cheese from Lidl. Right? Uh, not baked beans. Not this. Garden peas. Diced tomatoes. Pasta. Marinara sauce. Oh my God. How do we store this back? I don't think it's... It's fine. Don't worry about it. No, this recipe, there's no beans in it, right? No, it's just uncooked... It's just pasta, marinara sauce... Guy. You there? You guy. Yeah, I'm here. I'm just making pasta. Connor? What did they Don't say? Forest Service Agency will take care of it first thing in the morning. That's for leaving. Track them down and give them peace of mind. So you what? I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. Alright. <clears throat> Alright. I know it's been a tough day, but you're doing an excellent job up there. Thank you, Connor. Go over twelve, signing off. Over and out. Over and out. Fantastic. I like eating in bed. I guess it's okay. <laughs> oh, delicious. A type of pasta? Uses pepperoni? I guess. It's just a casserole, right? I don't know. 
I prefer veggie veggie ones though. Yeah. Instead of a casserole, right? This is a baking tray, it's not uh I was full. I guess I can reheat this, right? If I need. Could have kept it in the refrigerator. Oh right. Fine. I'm sure that's fine. Right. Lights out. Oh, didn't I close the boards? Thought I did. I closed the boards. Okay, here we go. <laughs> 2 a.m. I was woken by some feeling that caused my eyes to drift open. Uh, fuck. Can I hide under the bed? Marco Marco No I could I could do it but Why is the bot not on? Let me check. It was on. Let's just check. It's bear spray, it's not people spray.
take it. I'm gonna spray your heart, so. The fuck is this? I didn't know what to make of it at the moment. The fuck is this Sintra in Portugal? What's going on? I mean, it's nice of them to decorate my place, but. I'm going back to bed. Connor, do you copy? You there? Do you have any idea what time it is? Wait until morning? No, there's a there's a fucking skull. They're decorating my place. Yeah, They're going full yeah. IKEA. Full, full IKEA. This is not a prank. This is no kids. These kids can be pretty creative with these pranks. They watch too many horror movies. Maybe they thought it would be funny. This feels like some real ritual. Not get carried away, new guy. We're in the middle of nowhere. All right, here's what we'll do. I'll send someone to check in on you tomorrow. For now, just lock your door. Alright, thanks. Connor didn't make any sense, yeah, just a jabroni. Just a jabroni. He didn't believe us. Night 3? He didn't believe us, guys. Next day I woke up, not being sure if it was light night was real or not. Connor tried to reason it is harmless pranks by some kids, but there's something about that night, I just felt darker. There's something strange happening in those woods. Okay, 8 p.m. I occupied most of my day with a simple maintenance in around the tower by scanning the densities of trees around me. There's a flare there? What is this? It's not really north, it's like... West? Hello? Is anyone... Uh, I need help, please! Someone answer! Uh oh. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Uh, this is Jack Tower 11. Take a deep breath. Okay, okay. What's the situation now? I don't even know where to start. I, I went out to explore the area and lost track of time. Right. And, and now it's dark and I can't remember the trail back to my truck. Right. I think I think I'm lost. Um What equipment do you have with you? Can you describe your clothing? I'm wearing a red jacket, camo pants, and a green backpack. And what's your current location? I, I'm in the middle of the woods, on this trail surrounded by trees. A everything looks different at night. Right. I thought shooting a few flare gun shots might get someone's attention, but no one's come yet. All it did was light up the trees and make everything look even scarier. I just want to find a way out of here. Okay, um... 
Do you remember any landmarks? I, I remember passing a small stream earlier. Stream, right. Uh, what direction are you facing right now? I'm walking towards west right now because I remember walking east when I came here. So he was walking east and then now he's walking west and passed by a stream. Oh, thank goodness, I see it. See, what is it? I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? Let me scan the map. So we are at tower, tower 11. Oh, good, fuck off. Uh, okay. And it was... Uh, hello? Wait. Uh, are, are you still there? Both of these trails seem pretty similar. Uh, I'm just so anxious about making a mistake and oh going my God. further away from the road. Please help. Give me a second. Where's tw Tower 12? Tower 12 is there. Right? And it's kind of opposite to this. And there was a stream. Oh shit. Credit card. Hidden Creek. Where was he going? Let's see if we can get more information from him. Yeah. Uh, trail intersection now, but. Trailhead. Okay. So this is the. Uh, hello. Just wait. Uh, are, are both of these trails? Uh, I'm just so anxious about making a mistake and going further away from the road. Yes, I'm trying to fucking find out. Okay, so. This is old radio tower. We saw the flare like here. Right? Like around here? So I guess left? I guess left. Okay. I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if Take I the left. I knew it. I thought it looked familiar. Yeah. I couldn't have trusted myself with this decision. Thanks for helping me through this. Uh, hope you reach back the trailhead safely. I'm right here! What do you mean? I hear you. I hear your whistles. I'm on my- I'm in my tower right now. What? what? I see you behind the trees to my right. That's not me. You're freaking me out. Okay. Jesus Christ. Holy moly, what took you so long in there? I've been knocking for hours. I was asked to check in on you. What are you up to, pal? I was assisting a lost hiker. At this hour? May the Lord have merciful. May the Lord be merciful out there. God damn. Anyways, got you tar supplies here, just the usual essentials. Here you go. Feel like I'm going to pass out if I keep holding this for one more second. Take the supplies. What were you doing there last night? What do you mean? Up north, why are you there? I wouldn't screw around out there, pal. I was required to investigate the campfire smoke. 
Oh, Lord, I have mercy. Nasty business up there, pal. Bobcats and bears. So you said before. You be careful out there, pal. These woods are normal. There's stuff out there that would love to get a piece of you. Just like... No, not gonna make a, a mom joke. Not to mention you'd be quite a distance from help if anything happened. Got enough to keep me occupied here. Absolutely. It's a busy job. I've been hearing you've been a bit on the edge. Everything alright? Mentions the skull. Yeah. Oh Lord have mercy. You take a photo of it before cleaning it up? I didn't think about it. You know, it's the best we don't dwell on these things, pal. Besides, we can't do anything without evidence. Anyways, it's getting late. Better get due now. Just keep watch. Thanks for the supplies. Right. Let's <laughs> shove it in there. Um... I guess we helped someone. That's something. You were, yeah, you weren't lying. I mean, you were, but then, then we kind of, we fixed it. Twenty-six knots, and it's kind of clear, right? It's windy. It's windy as hell. Twenty-six knots, and it's windy. Rusty bear spring. Fifty four point eight. Um, fifty four point eight. Twenty six knots. It's wind. Uh, one hiker assisted. Dave at all. Dave and Chad. I mean, you guys wanted me to get his um his information so i don't think you were helpful in this <laughs> this time right let's get some um let's get some supplies here i was too hungry okay no worries about it i got a nice uh Fantastic. 420. 4 minutes and 20 seconds here. They put some music on and stuff. This is nice. We couldn't send the message out. We do need to... to do some stuff here. Like we need to get um, the firewood because it gets cold. Where's my gasoline? Is it back here? It is. Do I need to put more gas on the um, on the generator? You guys think? No. I don't. <laughs> oh. 
fuck right off. Oh my god. You just gave me a heart attack. I understand loneliness can make the, the mind play tricks on you. What the fuck are you doing here? No need to be alarmed. I'm a worker. I was just doing some routine maintenance on the radio tower over there. Thought I'd say hi, the new guy. Everyone's talking about. Um, do you usually work this late? Every Sunday. Just like trying to keep the communication lines open. We must ensure that the right message reaches the right places, wouldn't you agree? Um... Right, we... we rely... information about fire sightings. Absolutely. But some fires are meant to burn, and no amount of prevention can stop them. The fuck do you mean? Hi, Rube. Good evening. Nature has its own plans. Some things can't be controlled, no matter how hard we try. And sometimes, disasters are just another form of cleansing. A way for the land to purify itself. I mean, it's not wrong. Like about... It's not wrong about the Mediterranean fires and, and that sort of ecosystem. Um, it's getting late. I should be back to the tower now. I'll see you around, Salas. Have a good night, Jack. Hope you sleep well, but remember... Curiosity can lead to places you'd rather not go. Farewell, Jack. This guy gave out the creepiest vibes. Can I follow him? Where the fuck is he going? The radio tower is, is over there. The radio tower is over there, buddy. Okay. Okay. Give me a second. Jesus Christ. You copy now. Right here. Loud and clear. Finally. I've been trying to reach you for a while now. Where have you been? Went down to get firewood. Uh, ran into Silas downstairs. Ran into who? The, the nearby radio tower worker. The guy maintaining that nearby radio tower. What do you mean? I'm to yank my chain now. What do you mean? That radio tower's been out of service for ages now. It was closed down years ago after a lightning strike fried its systems. And its repair costs were deemed too costly. Oh no. Oh no, oh, no guys. It's no time soon, according to Mitch. Then who the fuck did I just talk to? If what you're saying is true, it could be another one of those goons playing pranks on you. You knew my name! You knew your name? Yeah. I, I don't know. Either way, disguising as a staff member is strictly forbidden according to park guidelines. Next time you see him, get his information or take a photo. We need to figure this out. Uh, sure. Anyways, I'm seeing that you've already reported. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. Good night, Connor. Tower 12, signing off. Over and out. Good night, over and out. Oh, God. So we ate, we got the things, let's close it down. Let's close the things down. Oh god. 
Who the fuck was that? Silas is not a radio worker. Do you guys think he's one of those that uh, left a skull by the door? What do you guys think? My unease was starting to grow within passing day, with each passing day, so when I signed off that night, I told myself it was just a change of environment that I needed getting used to. The strangeness, the strangeness I'd seen so far in those woods was not enough to cause an alarm yet. However, that would soon change. We are insane as he, and he's a figment of our in imagination. Two nights later. 9 p.m. Oh, it's raining. You got, it. you got a minute? I'm listening. Well, good news. Just heard from the HQ. They say we've got a new system update on the computer. Right. They just wanted me to let you know. They say it's an important security update. Right. No more snoopers, I guess. Um... How do I update the computer? Well, to be honest with you, all this new technology, it's not really my thing. Right. Dare I say it, these computers are probably going to take all our jobs one day. <laughs> Tucker Jobs! Anyways, right. for now, use the console to run the new system update. I'm sure a young man like you can figure it out. Thanks, I got it. Dave Hackerman got it. Um Three updates found Security patch Let's update the, the operative system first. Oh, package code, sorry. Four, three, four. Six zero eight four. Ten forty five. Fifty nine eighty seven. Um fifty four eighty seven. Nice. The system is now up to date. Holy shit! Okay. Oh my god. My <laughs> computer collects so many jobs. All of them, actually. All of the jobs. Oh, well, I really had to pee. Don't, uh, don't worry about you, what you guys just uh, experienced. One week later. 
Honda's generator was under maintenance, which means I had to cover his area for the past two days. When there were no fires going, the only thing I'd do is check on Connor twice a day. That might have been the only time I've ever talked. Unless I was talking to myself. I do that sometimes as well. We got another one. I know it's late, but you're going to want to see this one, Jack. Jack? Yeah. Jack, I need you to wake up. Jesus. Right here, okay, Jesus. I don't have the energy to do this right now. What happened? I've been here busting my ass, working on that old piece of garbage generator. Yeah. And now I'm seeing this. I'm seeing more smoke to my west. Looks like we got another camper. It appears to be in your sector. You see the campsite from your end? Let me have a look. Okay. They don't run away this time. Take their photos and IDs. And if things get worse, don't hesitate to call HQ for help. All right. Don't take me tomorrow morning. I'm gonna get some rest. It's windy. <laughs> the fuck me. Is that it? It's a nice day though. Oh wait, we didn't check the new report system before. I guess I can't. Let's... Let's actually do it. Before we deal with that bullshit. Let's um... Seems n to be not windy at all. Oh no! Didn't feel safe. Good. <laughs> I then threw it off. Okay. I didn't mean to. Rip equipment. Um. What the fuck? The only thing that made sense at time was to take evidence of it. What the fuck are they doing? Space to take a photo? Um... It's just having a barbecue, right guys? It's just having a nice picnic? Hello? Marco! It didn't go... The stairs are that way, guys. Guys, the stairs are that way. He's still up here, right? He just went around. 
The son of a bitch is waiting for me, isn't it? I had to make a run? Oh, I know the son of a bitch is right there. I guess we had to make a run. Sleep? I know the son of a bitch is out there. I know it. I just know he's right there. No? Huh? Oh, s oh no! <laughs> son of a bitch! Shit! Okay. Okay. Okay! <laughs> right in the shadow! Right in the shadow! Time to go. Time to go for the shitter, guys. Huh? Huh? We go. I think the devs wouldn't mind if I did a sax cover of this, right? Here we go, guys. It's it's called um, horrorcore. We call it like horrorcore. Here we go. You guys ready? I'm like fucking Francis Obiquello here. Here we go. Let's get out of here, let's get out of here, let's go, 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 go. As adrenaline kicked in, I hit the gas and drove the nearest ranger cabin. Out of breath, I radioed in alert al uh, to alert the HQ. Look, Jack, we all get a little stir crazy out here, Mitch answered. Next morning, authorities allegedly ran a small investigation of the area. But of course, they met with no signs of misconduct. No one ever believed my story. Dismissing it as product of isolation. Just stick to looking out for fires, Mitch offered. However, that was the last time I ever set my foot in those woods. DNA still sits heavy in my stomach. Even though many years have passed, the experience still feels vivid in my memory. My family, though, I was making, my family thought I was making this whole thing up, which really out of my character. But I know what I saw. Real or not, after dark, these woods can become a haven for illegal activities. So if any of you plan to go camping soon, beware of uh, lookout towers, because there might be someone pissing off the balcony there. Please be safe.
Yay! Get your coos dancing out. I liked it. I loved the, the graphics and the vibes, honestly. I really like this. So this was Iron Bark Lookout. Did you guys like it? Did you guys enjoy this? Okay. Yes?